fungicide resistance management strategies aim to maximise the life of a fungicide product as well as maintain effective control of the target disease. The general strategy is to avoid using sequential fungicide applications where we're using the same mode of action as well as using mixtures of different modes of action. When considering fungicide applications during flowering, it's important to know what's gone on before flowering, for example, what active ingredients and modes of action were used at stem extension. If you want to control sclerotinia and light leaf spot during flowering, there are azole and non-azole options, which is really good for anti-resistance management strategies. And for sclerotinia specifically, again, there are a range of modes of action that can be used as one or two spray programs. Pictor and Phylan are both good choices as flowering sprays if you want to control sclerotinia and protect the pod canopy from light leaf spot. Pictor has been included in recent AHGB studies and offers equivalent activity to the other fungicides in the trial. Phylan should be applied at early to mid flowering before petal fall at 0.3 to 0.5 kilograms per hectare in combination with actives from a different mode of action such as thiethanate methyl or strobilurins. Pictor has built-in resistance management with its actives of boscolid and demoxystrobin and should be applied at 0.4 to 0.5 litres per hectare at early to mid flowering. The boscolid in both Pictor and Phylan also offers additional benefits, something we call green leaf area duration or GLAD for short. The challenge for growers and agronomists is to maximise photosynthetic capacity of the crop during the critical yield forming periods and we've been looking at how Pictor can help achieve this in our GLAD project. BASF. We create chemistry.